I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on conversion of units. We are going to consider a very important question here where the units will be converted for volume. The question here is Anna's baby is ill. The dosage indicated on the medication's label is 2.5 milliliter per kg every 4 hours. The baby weighs 9 pound and 8 ounces and Anna has measuring spoons in the sizes 1 8th, 1 4th, 1 half and 1 teaspoon. So all these are units of teaspoons. How much medication should she administer every 4 hours? Choices are 2 teaspoon, 2 teaspoon, plus half teaspoon, 2 teaspoon plus 1 fourth of a teaspoon and 2 teaspoon plus 1 eighth of a teaspoon. You can pause the video, answer the question and then look into my suggestions. Now let's also look into some very useful units. What is 1 teaspoon equal to? As far as milliliters are concerned, 1 teaspoon is 5 milliliters. That is one conversion we need. We are given weight in kilograms and in pounds. So we also need conversion of kgs to pounds, right? So what we know is that 1 kg is equal to approximately 2.2 pounds. Okay. Now what else? We are talking about ounces, right? We are saying pounds and ounces. So one pound is equal to 16 ounces. So I hope with these units, you should be in a position to get your answer. Correct? Now let me also share with you a very methodical way of doing such questions in a straightforward statement. Now what we really want here is to find out how many teaspoons, that means milliliters should be on the top, right? We are interested in teaspoons to be given to the child, which is based on the weight, right? So we are given here 2.5 milliliter for each kg. That is the unit to begin with. We need to convert this to teaspoons and pounds. Do you understand? Now, that is what we are interested in. Now, we know one teaspoon is 5 milliliters. So, if, if I want to cancel teaspoon, in that case, I should multiply the whole thing by what? I need teaspoons. And I know that one teaspoon is 5 milliliters. So to cancel milliliters, I will write one teaspoon is 5 milliliters. Do you get the idea? So as soon as I do that, you see we can cancel milliliter and milliliter and we get units in teaspoon. Now we need to get rid of kg. For kg, we know that is the unit. 1 kg is 2.2 pounds. So we can write here. Let me use a different ink this time. So we'll say 1 kg is 2.2 pounds. So I will write here. 1 kg is same as 2.2 pounds. Okay. Now once I do that, I can cancel kg and kg. So now I have pounds. So I'm also thinking about, uh, let's use a different ink for that. Okay. We're thinking about nine pounds and eight ounces. Now one pound is 16 ounces. So that means nine pounds and eight ounces should be equal to 9.5 pounds. Is it okay? So we need teaspoons. We don't need how many pounds now, 
we have this weight so I can multiply this by 9.5 pounds do you see that so what I get I get just units in teaspoons my pounds and pounds also cancel and straightforward I get my units in teaspoons does it make sense to you correct so now it becomes very simple for us we need to divide these terms right so 2.5 is half of 5 right so 5 times right so I could write this as we do have a decimal here so what we can do here is that we can get rid of some decimals so we'll get rid of 9.5 decimal and this decimal okay so let me rewrite this let me first cut this this is 0 0.5 right so what I have here is 5 times 1 is 5 correct so what I have here is 0 0.5 times 9.5 now we we remove this so let me write at present 2.2 itself right we'll cancel this later okay it doesn't matter so so that is what we have now this is kind of half right so 0.5 is like half right you could have given two here so i could have written this as half of 9.5 divided by 2.2 is that clear so i could have written this in this fashion and we are talking about teaspoons correct so that is to say I have to divide 95 by 44 so let's do that division ninety five by forty four so it can go two times eighty eight correct so thirteen so we have uh, seven here and uh, just seven so decimal zero will bring down zero here decimal so four it will not go even two times it is like 2.1 do you see that now amongst these so we got two which is common so that two is okay as far as the smaller units are concerned one over eight is close to 0.1 right so we're looking for 0.1 so we have option D as the right option. So we are getting 2.1 teaspoon. That means two full plus one eighth. Correct? Because one eighth is slightly more than 0.1. Do you get the idea? So that is how we could do calculation without calculator. If the calculator was there with us, it was not at all a problem, right? So sometimes it becomes very tricky to solve these questions without calculator so i hope that makes sense let's go through these calculations once again we have 2.5 milliliters per kg i know that one teaspoon is five milliliters and one kg is 2.2 pounds and we are interested in a baby weighing 9.5 pounds so that is how all the numbers are set now you could divide 2.5 into 5 two times so we get two times 2 times 2.2 is 4.4 9.5 so that means 95 divided by 44 and straight away we get approximate answer which is 2.1 which matches with two teaspoons and one eighth of a teaspoon doesn't make sense to you so that is how it could be done so i hope that makes sense feel free to write your comment share your views and if you like and subscribe to my videos that'd be great thanks for watching and all the best